Hi Tyrolee, okay, um, you've got the accent perfectly, we've just got to get those words down now and I just want to give you a little bit of history and the blocking for, for her, okay? What it is, is Kennedy's children, they were absolutely obsessed with Kennedy, they worshipped him and his assassination affected them all very badly. The play is set in a pub where these same five characters go every night, they, um, they don't ever talk to each other on stage, they actually just say monologues out to the audience. It's 10 years of this, they, their lives have not changed. She gets very bitter, um, she, you know, she has always had her role model Marilyn Monroe and bases her entire demeanour on Marilyn, but now she's, she's realised and actually in the play she is sitting drinking and taking tablets, literally committing suicide in front of the audience. And she, um, and this particular monologue, she's telling about how she based herself on Marilyn and, and then you just see the total disillusion at the end. Just that one word literally says it all. I wanted to be a sex goddess, and you can laugh all you want to. The joke's on me whether you laugh or not. I wanted to be one of them. They used to laugh at Marilyn when she said she didn't want to be a sex goddess. She wanted to be a human being. And now they laugh at me when I say, I don't want to be a human being. I want to be a sex goddess. That shows you right there that something's changed, doesn't it? Rita, Ava, Lana, Marlena, Marilyn. I wanted to be one of those. I remember the morning my friend came in and told us all that Marilyn had died. And all the boys were stunned, rigid, literary, as they realized what had left us. Like a flame going out like a moth fluttering away on the breeze, like the moon not rising full on the proper night. Death, bone white death. If the world couldn't support Marilyn, then wasn't something desperately wrong. And we spent the rest of the goddamn sixties finding out what that was. <coughs> we were all living in this e laughed in East Fifth Street way back before it became dropout heaven, <laughs> way back before anybody even said dropout, when commune was still a verb. We were all old movie buff, sex mad, you know, the, the early 60s. And then my friend, the sweet little queen, he came in and he passed our tranquilizers to all of us and told us to sit down and we thought he was going to tell us there was a May West double feature somewhere and he said, he said, he said, Marilyn Monroe died last night. And all the boys were stunned. But I felt something sudden and cold in my solar plexus. And I knew then what I wanted to do with the rest of my life. I wanted to be the next one, the next one to stand radiant and perfected before the race of man, to shed the luminosity of my beloved countenance over the struggles and aspirations of my pitiful subjects. I wanted to give meaning to my own time, to be the unattainable, luring love that drives men on, the angel of light, the golden flower, the best of the universe made womankind the living sacrifice, the end. Shit. And that's how it would end. So I'd like you to try and find all the different nuances for her. Thanks, Tyrelli, enjoy.